Good morning? Afternoon? It's 4 o'clock. Afternoon. From Universal Studios Hollywood, um, it's been five days since our last update. Hopefully we see some changes in the theme park. Let's get right into it. Security situation was pretty bad today. It took about 15 minutes to go from somewhere over there <laughs> into this main hub. They only had two lanes open, which is understandable. I feel like they should they should be staffed a little bit better since it's summer, but then again, the theme park isn't as busy as it was in previous summers. So I don't know, it's hard to predict how many security guards and team members in general to, uh, to schedule. Better find out how busy it actually is in the park. I highly doubt it's that busy. But you never know, it's, it's a Sunday. I, I keep forgetting what day it is, so we'll see. It definitely has been a pretty uneventful summer for myself. Not a whole lot of stuff to do this summer. I've been not blacked out, but I, I've been suspended from Disney because I missed three reservations. Um, completely not my fault. I got sick, I got called into work, and then one time I just forgot. So <laughs> I got punished for paying $130 a month with my Inspire key and missing reservations, whatever. At least Universal doesn't do that. I'd be in a rough spot right now. But yeah, pretty uneventful summer for myself. Yeah, it's not looking too busy at all. Highest wait is 40 minutes for Secret Life of Pets on the upper lot. Down at the lower lot, I have no idea. I'm about to find out. Down at the lower lot, highest wait is 50 minutes for Mario Kart. That's actually not that busy. Which is really surprising. Universal is currently running a buy one, get one ticket deal. So you can definitely maximize your summer by coming to the park. If you miss a ride or two, you can always come back if you buy a one day ticket. But you have to make sure you select the right ticket type on the website. Uh, when you go on the website, just click on the buy one, get one ticket. Bro, the base, I don't know where this base is coming from. It sounds like there's a party. Is it from inside the plaza? Yeah, it is from the plaza. Not a whole lot going on up here. Winnie and Woody Woodpecker are, it looks like they might be done for the day, but Scuba George is out. <laughs> All right, we need, a, we need to talk to George. <gasps> are you the Scuba George? The one, the only, the immaculate, wow. the powerful, the magnificent. If I say the so magnificent. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for your service. You have a lot of guts to be out there defending us from that shark. <laughs> so how do you how do you stay in the water for so long every day? Well, you know, as a scuba diver, I am one with the water, and the water is one with me. Okay, okay. Also, do you have like a, a favorite movie <laughs> outside of Jaws? Killer clowns in outer space. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that movie. Oh. Only because they're from outer space. Okay. I love a different terrain. Do you have like a favorite water movie? Because you're one with the water. It would have to be Jaws. Bruce is my favorite coach. I Honestly, I was expecting Waterworld or something. <laughs> no, that's too much water for Too much water. I must be on land. <laughs> okay. Not all the time, but just something. <laughs> all right. Well, it was nice meeting you. Can we get a picture? Of course we can. All right. Scuba George is a great character. You gotta meet him if you're here at Universal. I have to cut a lot of that out because of the music here. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Here's a look at Monstros Dose. It's looking pretty snazzy. They just textured the entire facade. It's looking a lot better. I will say, before they textured the facade, the colors were not adding up. And I, I feel like they still have to do a little bit of work over here. Maybe they could add some dead vines. Just because I feel like it doesn't flow well from the brick texture to uh, this texture and the brick somewhat looks like styrofoam so I mean yeah they're, they're definitely gonna work on that I like the rusted texture they added to that uh I don't know what to call it <laughs> look at this they actually removed the catwalk I'm not sure why they did that but I, I think it could be because they either like maybe they're about to paint it or maybe they didn't install it properly. Yeah, I definitely need to come back to Universal with swim attire so I can do this thing. I, I actually haven't done it in like 
maybe three or four years. I mean, I've ran through like the water and stuff, but I've never actually like played around the area. Maybe I'm a little too old for that actually. All right, here's a look at uh, Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift. Lots of coaster footers up on this side. Yeah, they're definitely ready to install that track or the, the supports onto these footers. It's just a very quiet day. I don't think they work on Sundays. But then again, I've been <laughs> I've been going to the park like every other day and I haven't seen them working. Maybe they work a little earlier in the day. I've been seeing some updates on both Twitter or X and Instagram. And it looks like there is a house inside of the voice sound stage, which is interesting. How, how are we gonna queue up for that haunted house? How do we even get there? I'm thinking maybe from the back of Jurassic. Huh. I don't know if we, we know this or not, but uh, do we know if the soundstage behind Transformers is gonna be utilized this year? If it isn't, it would make sense. Like maybe they're trying to open Nintendo World to increase capacity overall throughout the park. I think Nintendo World would definitely help out the crowds just a little bit. Obviously years prior when we had the back lot, that would help a lot with the crowds inside of the park because you would have a lot of people downstairs, a lot of people walking, a lot of people coming back, and uh, the crowd flow went really well. Since the back lot is closed now, the park feels a lot more congested than it used to feel, especially during Horror Nights. And if you're new to the whole Horror Nights shebang, um, they used to use the Metropolitan sets that the studio tours drive through for Halloween Horror Nights, and they used to have like three or four, eh, mostly three, haunted houses back there and then they had like a little bonus haunted house it was like a gauntlet style haunted house we would walk around like it, they, they considered it a scare zone but it's like a gauntlet style haunted house and that was always like a bonus haunted house to me so instead of like eight haunted houses we would have nine and if you look online for the first iteration of holidays in hell it was actually located in that gauntlet style haunted house here's a look at this side of the construction Nothing crazy yet. But we do have a bit of an update on this side. It looks like they're getting started on the coaster footers. That's what all of these like steel cylinders are for. They fill it up with concrete and then they take it off. These are still footers, right? That's a tall footer. Usually they're in the ground. And it looks like they did fill up these footers over here with concrete. Kind of the worst day to not bring sunglasses to Universal. It has me doing like the ugliest eye squints. We're getting detail, we're getting detail. Slowly but surely, it's looking nice. It's just kind of crazy seeing the scale of this roller coaster. This thing is huge. Yeah, the park is dead. Look at the queue for the mummy. There's like no one in line. The queue doesn't even extend out of the tomb. I haven't been on the mummy ride in like, I don't even know, probably Probably since Horror Nights. Maybe I did it towards the beginning of this year, but I, I just can't rem remember the last time I wrote the Mummy right, to be honest. 30 minutes for Mummy, 25 minutes for Transformers. The park is dead. What's going on on a Sunday? At this rate, we might even be able to eat at Toadstool. Let's see, let's see if we could. Okay, the queue is available almost immediately. Literally 5.45, it's 5.40 right now, something like that. So I guess maybe we'll eat at Toadstool today, let's see. There's not like a whole lot of options that I like from Toadstool, but maybe we'll try something new today. On the very first day of Nintendo World being open, we ordered everything off the menu in Toadstool Cafe. It was crazy. I think our bill was like 182 or something. But since then, they've added a few new menu items. So l let's take a look at the menu. I actually haven't been in Toadstool for over a year now. All right, we made it in, we made it in. A little bit of a line here. Oh, there's Chef Toad. Wow, oh, where'd he go? I look at, I look down at my screen for like two seconds and then he left. Um, let's see, what are we gonna have today? I know the garlic knots are really good. I love those when I had it the very first day. Um, Oh, I hate that it, they keep spinning. I'm trying to look for things to eat. Uh, 
Maybe the Luigi burger. I don't really like like pesto sauce or anything. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out right now. Dang, look at the line here. Wow. So it took about 17 minutes to order our food. And now I'm waiting in the, li in the line to even get to a table. Kind of a weird setup. I don't think I mentioned what I'm getting. I'm getting the Bowser's Fireball Challenge. With the discount, it came out to $23.89. But I did try rounding up for charity. It added 74 cents. But the total came out to $23.89. I'm not sure what happened there. So we just got our food. It's 6.35 right now. We placed our order at, let's see. Should say it here. Oh yeah, there it is. 6.01 p.m. So it took 34 minutes to get the food. And here it is. We got the Bowser Jr. Challenge. No more me metallic utensils anymore, so it's, it's all pl I thought it was plastic. No, it's wooden. Wooden utensils. <laughs> Alright, this will be interesting. The inside is a little pink. I'm not sure if I should be concerned. I It should be okay. Oh, there's like mushrooms inside. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say anything about this. And then we have like a hot sauce over here. Okay, I poured the hot sauce on top and we're gonna go for a bite. Kind of struggling. There we go. There we go. All right, cheers. I'm scared it's really spicy. Yeah. Okay, it's a little spicy. I like the cheese that they put on top. This tastes really good. I wish it wasn't as sturdy. Like, I don't know why the meatball is so hard to cut into. It might just be the fork. All right, another bite. I'm gonna dip this in the hot sauce and get a little bit of marinara on it as well. This is good. I made quite the dent into this meatball. I wonder what happens if you finish an entire meatball because this is a Bowser challenge. Maybe uh, they reimburse your money you spent on the meatball. Probably not. I was going to do this off camera, but then I thought you guys might want to see this. I don't know what this is. It's like a bread. Let's see. I'm trying to cut this with a fork right now. All right. Let's try this out. Yeah, it's just a bread. Tastes pretty good. I think I'm calling it quits. Um, yeah, it's heavy. It's a pretty heavy meatball. I mean, it tasted pretty good for what it was, and I'm glad it wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be, or else I wouldn't have been able to eat it at all. I wish I brought my power-up man today. Like, all the wait times inside of the land are so short, so Mario Kart was really short, and I could use Express on Mario Kart now, but the single rider queue was like, empty and then all the little challenges they had throughout the land they had no line at all she could take one look at you and you could come back three seconds later wearing a red jacket over it and you're gonna look like two completely different people to her however if she gets your sense of smell she's gonna track you anywhere you go so what we're gonna do is if you'd like to meet tango here what we're gonna have you do is just stick that hand out and back. That's the first time I've seen Tango in a long, long time. For a while they had Sierra out, now it's back to Tango. All right, I guess we should Tango on out of here. Wait times are short, so uh, maybe we could try to do something in the upper lot. This is something I haven't done in a while, climbing all the stairs all the way back up. We'll give it a shot. I'm pretty, pretty rusty at Stairmaster right now. I haven't done leg day and <laughs> like two months i don't know it's been a while since i've done leg day been focusing on chest try and biceps the secret to burning calories even faster is going slower and doing each individual step instead of skipping steps here's the third set of steps <sighs> almost there look at this view onto the coaster man i can't wait to see a roller coaster going around here yeah, I'm really feeling the burn already. Definitely activated the calves and thighs. Holy smokes. We should do like a, a workout video at Universal. Honestly, that's gonna wrap up today's update here at Universal. There's not a whole lot going on today, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm JP and how they see the movies. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.